In today's Madden 20 breakdown, I'm going to be playing some mutt drafts, and I've got some really good material for me of a formation I haven't seen a whole lot of people breaking down. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel basically centers around me getting better at Madden while trying to help you get better at Madden. And so I got some mutt drafts uh, gameplay, and I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. I found this little formation here. This is one of the reasons I really like the the mutt drafts mode, and that's you know just to learn about the game. And again, this is something that's really good to do around the time that it's going to be coming for Madden 21. And so I like to jump into mutt drafts kind of for the first season of the year because what it does is it helps me learn all the playbooks and helps me learn a lot of the players. It also makes me a lot of money in the ultimate team mode so that I can then uh, be able to buy a better team for salary cap. So anyway, so Mutt Drafts, we're running the Seahawks book on, on offense and defense because you can't really pick your your playbook. And off to, the, off to a really bad start there with a, a sack. But I love this playbook. I love the bunch. I love this empty bunch. It's got the best in route in the game. I'm going to go ahead and say it. That route on Z spot by far is the best in route in the game. It comes with a decent corner route. And so, you know, kind of like deep corner from the... The regular gum bunch, but I think you can do a little bit more with the five wide version. So anyway, just looking to try to move the ball up and down the field here on him. This little zig route, I love zigs this year. Zigs are really good because it's one of those routes that just gets open. And it seems like no matter what I do, the zig is almost always open. What I like to do is put Michael Irvin on an in route, motion him out, and then I basically read the corner. And for some reason, he has been really good at, at stymieing me with that Aaron Donald. So here, got a little bit of a little bit of a dicey situation right off the bat here. Going to try to get this first down, and going to go ahead and throw it away and give up a possession. That's fine. So off to kind of a slow start here. Again, the Seattle book, it's very good on offense, and it's very bad on defense. Basically, I've got the dollar, and i got the 4-3 wide 9. That's pretty much what I got. So when my offense is not able to move the ball, and it's really not great on offense. It just has that one formation. But mess around with the empty bunch. There's some good route progressions. But you see, most people, this is what they're going to do in Draft Champs. And Draft Champs is such a different game mode than um, regular Mutt because you don't have your playbook. You don't really, a lot of people, you know, they don't really have a system. I would say they have a couple of key plays that they can use. They have a power, a counter, you know, and then they're going to kind of use some of the mainstream doubles flex. They're going to use, you know, tray Y flex inside zone, verticals, combination of those routes. And so, um, not able to get that. Dang it. So he's going right up and down the field on me here. But uh, here's that trips. So this is where I pride myself, though, and, and, and hopefully we can get a stop. We don't look like crazy person. There's the inside zone. But this is where I pride my defense. Um, this is where, in my opinion, you make your money in draft champs um, or mutt drafts or whatever you call it. It used to be called draft champs. But... It's the ability to st make stops in the red zone like I just made there. And you see you get a lot of these little um, these little plays here. And let's see if James can outrun Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is keeping up with him, though. Oh, dang it. Bad stick. So able to get the ball, though. Able to come up with a big play. Need to score. Again, it's a defensive kind of game mode. It's a slower game mode. It's a game mode because you're not going to get just blitzed crib on every play. You know, typically, you know, it's just a different, altogether different monster. And I cannot get a throw off. His defense, Aaron Donald is just killing me. But I'm going to stay with my Z spot. I've, I've seen it open multiple times, just haven't been able to hit it. And we're just going to take that check down route. Just to get us some yards back, set us up for a third down. You know, part of Madden, and this is what I like about Mutt Drafts. Um, this is kind of what I'm coming to really enjoy about it. It's a different type of game mode in the sense that really it's all about possessions, it's all about fundamental um, play. Let me see if I can't fit that in. Dak on it. That's what I did not need to do. Throw a pick. Dang it. I was trying to fit in that deep in route. 
so far the in round is not earning the reputation I'm giving it. So here we'll see if the dollar can do. Not a big fan of the dollar. I've seen some people running dollar this year, and I just have not been a huge fan. Let's see if we can get that. Yep. So this is draft champs. I mean, this this uh, it truly is a lot of people because they're play using so many different playbooks. They don't know, and that's why if you have a really good red zone offense, really good red zone defense, you know, if I would have been strategic, I probably that's where you don't want to try to go for the knockout punch a lot in draft champs just because of the way the game is played. Let me see if I can't, and I'm gonna say that and throw another one, and I get a dot, and just a user catch over the middle there. Kind of got lucky on that throw. I was worried about that. If he would have timed it better, he probably would have got it. But we get on the board. Kind of a sloppy first quarter. But you'll see that bunch, that five wide bunch, that in route, will, once once we kind of get settled in here, you'll see, it's going to work like a charm. He's doing a lot of cover two. And cover two is really the way to go in draft champs. It's really the way to go in pretty much any mode. You know, good cover two defense is very difficult because of the fact that you've got the user in the middle of the field and those deep uh, those deep vertical zones. I'm just kind of waiting. He's going to go to the air, looks like. And so we're going to kind of sit in this dollar. And what I like about the dollar is the uniformity of it. I like how it looks exactly the same. Everything that you do looks exactly the same. And there he's going to throw it away. But he's going, I think he's probably got the Minnesota Vikings playbook, just judging by the... Uh, Judging by the sets that he's coming out in here. Let's see here. Oh, he's going to get over the top. Shoot. That's the price you pay when you don't put a spy on the field. He rolls out and throws something like that. And that's just terrible, terrible. D. In draft champs, you know, you have to, have to, have to, have to. It's so critical to have um, a QB spy. And what I like to do is basically user the linebacker on the right side, on the side of the running back. Um, I've just found that it works better when he gets out of that pocket, though, then I can easily just send that spy. And again, I run a lot of coverage D in draft champs most of the time. But if you really want to, you can kind of slip into these um, some of these defenses. The nickel double A gap is a really fun one to use. And you'll see here. But there you see, there's the pressure. And a lot of times, because they don't have escape artists, you know, this year the way the game plays, it's so critical. If they don't have escape artists, you know, to really, you know, you can really get a, a very good bang for your buck. If, if they don't have escape artists this year, it's really difficult to uh, consistently, consistently do anything on offense with those rollout corner routes. Those corner routes are nowhere near as effective if you don't have escape artists. So there you see we're able to grab another one. And right now, I think just offensively, we're both kind of struggling, if we're being direct, very honest. He's got some pretty good pressure. This Z-spot and go play, this is kind of a hidden hidden gem that I found in this little playbook here. But that little spot go route is actually really effective against someone that's going to run a lot of cover too because it's going to kind of get over the top. And there you see... Just getting that. He's got a really good blitz pressure. So just really good shed defense, honestly. We'll see if we can't get something here out of verticals. And Randall kind of just throw it away. And just play it safe. Offensively, not really. And this is what draft champions kind of, you know, it's a sloppy game mode, I would say. You know, there's a lot of a, there's a, it's a, it's much, much more a defensive type of mode because you just don't have the arsenal. You don't have all of the formations together. You don't have one playbook that has everything that you need. You're not as comfortable in the playbooks either because, you know, most of the time they're new playbooks. Here, you know, this is kind of a risky call, but I'm all right with this. And primarily because I think I can hit him with this corner route. We'll see. Yep. And I just drop it. Dang it. And that's where escape artists really having having the ability to have like an escape artist dashing dead eye. Those are the things that you don't have in draft champs or mutt drafts that are so 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 essential to your success. But here see I'm going to get on this side and he's going to roll 
and we're going to completely miss a tackle. But it's all about red zone defense. I mean, just like it is in the real game, you know, just like it is when you when you have all of the all the you know bells and whistles at your disposal. This game is a hundred percent about, um, and I'm not able to, and we're able to get him out of the pocket there. But this game is 100, 100, 100 percent about the ability to. Uh, you know, kind of slow down things in the red zone, hold them to field goals, you know, and that's why I'm okay going for it on fourth and 16, because I trust my red zone defense that much. I trust my ability to stop them in the red zone because part of, I mean, part of it too, is just kind of the way the game plays, but it is much, 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 much harder to score in draft champs, in my opinion, than it is in any other mode. But there you see, we're able to cage him and now we'll get an opportunity to try to get a score before the two-minute warning. And we're still up one possession. But that's where I say, you know, field goals, not touchdowns. If you can hold them to field goals. And draft, draft, mutt drafts, the way the game plays, because you don't have your abilities. I mean, I don't think there's any abilities in mutt drafts. So you're 100% like reliant upon talent, um, I would say, user stick. You, you, a lot of the things that you're used to leveraging in salary cap and even head-to-head -head mode, you can't leverage those things in mutt drafts. Like, I can't roll out with Randall Cunningham on a consistent basis and just throw corner routes like I can, you know, from the Arizona playbook. So it's a kind of a, a whole different approach, a lot more of standing tall in the pocket, taking your check downs, and that's something I've not done a great job of this game. But we'll try to get a good drive here before half. But I can't, like I said, I can't just roll out. But if I stay strong in the pocket, I can still deliver those corner routes, as you can see right there. And most of the time, if they're not in Tampa 2, that corner routes are going to be open out of this play. And if they are in Tampa 2, you're going to have all the underneath stuff that you've got. And because he's not blitzing a lot of people, you know, it's going to make it even, even more fun for me being able to kind of just dissect him. But there's the cover 2, and we'll just take our little check down read. I have noticed, though... One thing I have noticed that I did want to make you aware of, a lot of times you'll actually fumble those. I, I need to do a better job of getting down, but here he goes, cover three. Just let him get out there, get that spacing, and I'm able to hit that sideline. Toe tap, animation, perfect. And now you see we're in field goal range. You know, So again, the offense is starting to kind of get starting to kind of get here just a, just a little bit. And now, now it's kind of one of those key... Key downs here. I got Cooper Cup kind of as a check down. And he, that was a really big, really big pressure play. Should have brought in a little bit more protection on that. The Z spot and go, I really believe, is going to be a home run here. Let me see if I can catch him. And there, Ertz, the big play. Like I said, I really, really think Z spot and go might catch him off balance here. Just go max protect. And you see how that low, that middle blue zone doesn't get on top of him. And there you see kind of a kind of a critical drop by Michael Irvin. We were able to fit it in, but I like that Z spot and go route because if they just if they just sit somebody in the middle of the field. Um, and they start taking away that in route by sitting just a mid read out there or whatever, or crossing routes or whatever, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to pop it right over the top because of the, the way that that route is going to be able to get in between a lot of what they're going to try to do. So didn't work out for us there. I ended up dropping the ball, but that's okay. And here we just need to get off the field. Let's see if we can get a good tackle. I should have just kicked it deep. Um, probably a mistake to do that so here gonna go cover two man just simple um should have been a pick dang it but i really like the dollar um out of this and i really like the let's see if we can bump and run here ah, i didn't put a spy on the field we're still able to get off the field. The the Seattle playbook, basically, there's two formations that I run. I'll run dollar, and I'll run 4-3 wide 9. That's pretty much it. So, you know, for me, it's 
again, draft champs, mutt drafts is all about finding a specific formation, specific thing in every playbook that you can leverage. And every playbook has a power and counter type of thing. It's just sometimes they don't have as much firepower. For example, you know, one of the things that you want, if you watch some of the pros play mutt drafts, you'll find that a lot of people were really liking the big nickel over G primarily because it's in every playbook. So they could build a scheme out of that and they always know they're going to have it. But what I like to do, um, but I didn't feel like the pressure was able to be sent as well from that, that package. So here we got an in route. We got that. We got that. We're able to catch him there. But you see, if I come in and cross three fire press, it's going to kind of pinch the middle linebacker just a smidge. And then we're just going to kind of sit in Tampa 2 uh, until he forces me to get out of it. We'll send the spy there. We're able to catch him, Carl. Those vert hooks this year just play so, so dang nasty. But it's, it's much more, I'm telling you guys, it drafts much more of a defensive game mode than offensive, in my opinion. You're not going to, I mean, again, because you don't have all the great runs, you don't have all the whatevers that you typically would. But if you can have an offense that has, ah, dang it, that, that guy, Heath, played him, played him well. And as you can see, you just kind of go back and forth a lot, depending on the talent level. And if you're playing somebody good, you can expect a little bit of back and forth. Got that spy. Oh, that's one of the. Oh, that's one of the most frustrating things when that happens. We just sit in that cover two with a spy, and normally we can catch most of everything they're gonna do, and they just basically have to go underneath, and that's terrible user skill. I'm like click, getting clicked off of my guys. So here he's gonna flip it. So I'm gonna flip my entire setup. But basically, I like to use the linebacker that's opposite. And we should be able to get that. Now we're just able to block. But I set cover two. Um, if they give me a ton of ton of trouble, then I might um, I might slide into a cover four. But most of the time, the cover two will hang with a lot of the route progressions that people are going to run. There you see there's that double in route. And that's something that's very effective against cover two. But it's again, it's it's primarily, I mean, primarily mutt drafts, very defensive game mode. You'll see even you watch this game, there's a lot of turnovers, a lot of whatever, whatever, and there's deep corners on the in route that I'm on. We're able to catch him in that spy, and defense gets another hold. But if you're good with adjusting, and it really does go to tell the tape of being able to adjust your formations and really understanding understanding kind of the basics um kind of understanding the basics of everything that we do here so there and there david gets him let's we'll see if we can't get a return here but understanding cover two understanding kind of forcing them to throw into windows and he's getting frustrated and see he's not even out of the game but he's so frustrated he can't move on the defensive side of the ball and that's again just much